Hi guys, I want to do a quick video about the different classes in the new Battlefront 2. This is from the beta and things will obviously change with the full release of the game. But at its core, this is why Battlefront 2 is different in terms of the characters you play. Because of these classes. So, the four basic classes are Assault, Heavy, Officer and Specialist. And whereas in the last game... Um, the way that you played and the perks that you used were based around the star cards and abilities that you equipped. In Battlefront 2, each individual class has access to slightly different star cards and uh, modifiers as well. That although seem a little bit more complicated to start off with, are actually a lot closer to something like Battlefield 1's uh, system of Medic, Assault, uh, Scout and Support. So your assault character in Battlefield 2 specialises in fast, close quarters combat. So the weapons he's got in the beta is the DC-15A, which has got a nice scope on it, and the CR-2, which is a fast firing one. Also, his basic um, perks, if you like, that he gets um, uh, started with is combat enhancer. So you can regenerate your health while this ability is active. So when you get into a difficult situation, you activate that and you reactivate your health. And then your shoulder sort of uh, skills, uh, your cards are uh, thermal detonator and vanguard. Um, and if we bring up that, you can see lead the charge and equip a powerful short range weapon that builds no heat for a limited time. Basically, it's like a shotgun that you can equip. Now, as you progress and you pick up different star cards and you get to different levels, you can change up to three of these things. So you can have your combat enhancer and then two two other things, um, which will then change your shoulder buttons. Um, and you'll see that in, a, in another one. But already you can see how we've got specific roles, if you like, for different characters. So let, let's move on a little bit and let's have a look at the, the heavy, which I've got up to level five. So the heavy, the heavy trooper can take out hordes of enemies when positioned well, but is less mobile. So he has basically more powerful weapons. Uh, the basic weapon he comes with is the DC-15, and then you can move on to the FWMB-10K. Um, and then if we look at his uh, star cards, um, you can see that he has an impact grenade, a combat shield, and a sentry. Now, the modifier that I've equipped is defender so you gain a small amount of score for each hit that you take which can be useful but i've got a couple of ability replacement cards the supercharged sentry so instead of having his minigun which is really good you have an explosive minigun that fires explosive projectiles but you can't move when you're using it and barrage um which you when you uh, you replace your grenade with that and it fires sort of three smaller projectiles a little bit further which is useful for that way um and that's the heavy uh, heavy guy, very useful indeed. Then we have the officer. Now the officer is, is very interesting. The officer can heal and provide support to his teammates. We didn't really see a character like this in Battlefront 1. But uh, this guy's main ability to start off with are Battle Command Strike, Flash Grid and Blaster Strike. And what does Battle Command do? It does is when you're in a, a situation with troops around you, when you hit L1 and R1 to activate it, um, the troops around you get some sort of buff. So this particular one means they get unlimited weapon cooling to yourself and nearby allies. allies. So one of the mechanics with the weapons in Battlefront is that as you're firing, they start to overheat. You know, there's unlimited ammo, but they overheat, and at some point they stop firing because they've got too hot. Well, when you say that, when you give that command, everybody can just keep blasting away for the uh, duration of the battle command. Blast the turret, which is very good. Uh, you can throw that down and that gives you a little remote turret. And flash grenade, which we throw. So the officer is very useful. However, he doesn't have much armour. He's quite squishy. And so you've got to be careful how you're using him. And his gun isn't that powerful either. Though, obviously, you could change that for another sidearm. Then we have the specialist. The specialist excels at long-range combat, but is vulnerable in close quarters. In other words, this is a scout sniper class. Um, he comes with the Vulcan 38X to start off with, and then the A280 CFE. And if we have a look at his uh, star cards that he has, shot grenade, um, you know, just a grenade, thermal binoculars. Now they are very useful. When you use those, you can see through buildings and you can see um, uh, enemy soldiers. And then infiltration. Now this is super powerful infiltration. You hit that button, or well, those two buttons, and you swap to a short range weapon, and you can run around and shoot people up close. It's really, really good. When you get in a clutch situation, you activate that. 
So there we go. So as you can see, the different classes now in Battlefront 2 that you can pick have definitely different abilities and uh, will require different modes of play. So far, I've been very impressed with the heavy, the officer and the specialist, which I guess are the ones that do things quite differently to the assault which I guess the assault is pretty similar to what we had in Battlefield Run 1 and this makes the gameplay um, you can use different strategy use different tactics in the different engagements and does make the game I think more interesting than uh, than Battlefront 1 already so there we go that's the uh, a quick introduction to the class system in Battlefield uh, Battlefront 2 I hope that's uh, answered some questions and maybe whet your appetite for the full game if you've got any questions or comments put them down below if you enjoyed the video hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe thank you very much and I will see you again soon